Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to another POV video. Today we are at Verhobaken, which you'll have heard me speak about many times. I really do love this hill. I've got a soft spot for it because they helped me out so much last year when uh, me and my wife and the dog were living in the van and driving all over Europe to a race in the EWS. This, uh, this hill was home. It really was. And uh, yeah. But we're back, it's only the second time I've been here this year. I can assure you it's still as rough as it has ever been. A little more rough if you want. It's a much smaller vibe than some of the other local hills like Flotspro. The tracks are quite rough. Um, the lift is quite steep, but the training is top tier for Stockholm. So we're just gonna jump on board with some POVs today and just check out all the tracks that they've got here and the variants of each track. So uh, yeah, hop on, let's get into it. So we're going to drop into Slingan 4. A bit loose in these top corners. This bit has really developed a rut. It's super dusty in the dry. So you really do bounce around and then you can squash all these. You can really hear how easy the tyre or wheel locks up on this loose stuff. But it's actually so dry and so grippy. Little double there. And you can really pop into this ground. Whoa. Whoa loads of grip in them and a big old jump here and it's like kind of pointing the wrong way for the trail so if you want to get fast runs in I advise skipping the jump this track is called green bridge amongst the riders anyway you got this first drop that's pretty hectic second one's hectic third one's even more and then over the lump this section is my favorite bit of the hill you really can just fly down that and onto the green bridge and then whoop around and suck that up around here loses the altitude here so you really got to pick your way through and be smooth but that is a really good track really really good track on the lift here you have the t-bar as you can see where you have the string lift the string <laughs> the string lift the string is covered with this old hose pipe so it's pretty easy to hook on so uh, straight off the lift here you'll see we're gonna take the same start as we did before drop it and then magically fast forward back to normal speed and then here is the option I say where you can skip the big jump I think it actually sets you up better for the tracks so this is the same track where, but the left hand option in the woods I really like that corner there then this section really has some line choice. That's my preferred way through. And here we did some work. This track is actually called Ruby's Revenge. Ruby is the name of one of the French Bulldogs that belongs to Matthias, who is the godfather of these tracks. He's the one that really brought this hill to life. Okay, so now we're into hop, or pump layered in. Every year this gets a bit more to play with. Pump, pump, pull. Some of those jumps are a little bit short for the speedy carry. So you really have to pop, and there you go. Keep your eye out for pedestrians here. And then make sure you take this lift and turn left turn okay. so you don't bump into anyone coming out the cafe and keep your balance there okay now we're dropping into hop laid and this track again develops more and more every year you hit straight away with a little line choice i'm a big fan of the high this track is very fun to ride really sketchy to race um so many hops and turns and they just get a bit more mature each year a bit more fun make sure you bring your whip back kids and this little hop was added in which is super nice and that one really sends you down the braking bumps have got pretty hectic here now braking area there stay in the turns lads that's what they're for now scorgan there used to be two variants but now we're down to one pretty open at the top there's a few different versions of it i like this high line here 
in and around that was a big noise this bit is pretty gnarly it might not look it on camera but i assure you that is a sketchy section and then there's a bit of a gap there don't always call that one that is a good track We're going to show you one more option from the same track now so i'll meet you where it splits and welcome back into the braking bumps and the big jump but we're gonna push on and go straight here you got a little kicker down here and then you got a big kicker here <laughs> yeah i didn't pull that as much as one might still a bit scary we're going to turn up into here that's not the official line but i want to show you everything and then you've got another drop here again you can really launch off that if you want and then brings you back down to the lift last trail of the day devil's trail clues in the name there's a couple of options down the bottom so we'll take whatever feels natural and then split it up after that big pedal in straight in with the steeps up we go and you want to get up around that rock there and really bring yourself around watch out in here because it does get real real loose it's a little lip there so you don't want to overshoot it you also want to check the gear it is tight up here there's a lot going on this freshly trimmed little drop really awkward i advise checking that out first time you come here and you want to get out into that little berm on the outside there oh so nice now it's cleared out then this line i quite like this actually opened up for the capital enduro races last year around we go i think that probably gets the most out of this track and if you hit this right you can just woo -hoo, pre -jump. Ah. <laughs> yeah. and you're back at the lift so let's check him out again we might just do a full top to the bottom and not speed up this one because it's quite short quite intense you can see this track like a bit more blown out than some of the others it's just enough support in that bottom section there so up to here obviously everything's the same and what you want to look out for here you almost aim at that tree squish and pop over because there's actually another track here that I've not ridden in so long it's so difficult because it's so direct this in the wet so fucking gnarly and round into this oh it's tricky in the wet oh a bit of a rut forming out there and pop over Whew. away we go so there are the two main options there And there you have it. They are the official trails here at Ver Hobaken. Some say there's more hidden away, but uh, we're not gonna go into that right now. Don't forget when you come here to go and check out Cafe Verhon because uh, the ice cream is good. Really, really recommend it. Have a little lunch stop, grab yourself coffee, ice cream, go back out, shred some more trails. But this track, this park is definitely different. It's not your it's not your uh, typical, like super family friendly, uh, like flow trail bike park. There's not much of that going on. It's a good training ground if you're an enduro rider. Um, so definitely gets my recommendation. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think and uh, let me know if you've ridden here and what your thoughts are on the track. Make sure you hit up the comments below. Thanks for all the support. Check back in soon because we're going to have a full bike park breakdown when my man Nikos is free with the camera. Peace out.